speaking on his podcast Farage Against the Machine, the arch-Brexiteer fears the political class will be voting to keep as part of the EU, he said, there is now a dishonest redefinition of what a hard Brexit is. A hard Brexit now, to them, is not just leaving the single market or the customs union a hard Brexit is not having full regulatory alignment. Now I know that big businesses, Japanese investors and others have been lobbying the government like crazy. want nothing to change, they do not want a world in which new competition can challenge the supremacy they have got and I am afraid our politicians are dancing to that tune, in the eyes of any Democrat they are behaving in a repulsive manner, it is not funny, I would love to laugh it off but we will face, probably in the next two to three weeks, one of the most important parliamentary votes of modern times, if this lot, our MPs and political class vote against us leaving the customs union they will be voting to stop us from making our own trade deals with the US and elsewhere, they will be voting to keep us part of the EU, Certainly the economic part, if that happens then one of Mrs. May's red lines in her manifesto has gone and in the next month or two. We could be facing a new prime minister, a general election, a second referendum or a massive watering down of what the British people voted for in 2016, LBC Getty Brexit News, Nigel Farage said he would love to laugh off the Brexit challenge but he cannot it is not funny, I would love to laugh it off Nigel Farage it follows a David Miliband speech where he campaigned against a hard exit from the EU, Labour's former foreign secretary said he was alarmed by Mrs May's negotiating strategy with the EU as he warned Britain could crash out for the bloc with no deal with just over 100 days until the final deadline for Brexit negotiations, the staunch Remainer launched his UK political comeback by joining a cross-party bid to try and stop hard Brexiteers from taking the UK out of the customs union. Speaking on stage alongside Liberal Democrat former Deputy Minister Sir Nick Clegg and the Conservative Chairwoman of the Commons Treasury Committee, Nikki Morgan, he said, I am alarmed at the state of negotiations, the perils facing our economy. and real and rising prospect of Britain crashing out of the EU with no Brexit deal at all. The Prime Minister said last year that there was no such thing as hard Brexit or soft Brexit. She has conspired to make that the case. Now the choice is between hard Brexit and chaotic Brexit, the reason is as sad as it is simple. The government is not negotiating effectively with the EU because it is not able to effectively negotiate with itself.